Now to the latest on state lawmakers and their efforts on restructuring DHEC, claiming they are overwhelmed with too many responsibilities. Our Scotty e. Kay spoke with a senator from Spartanburg County today about the potential dismantle. We do have to address how do we handle these other critical services in an agency that is that large whenever their number one response needs to be public health response. And I think that's the conversation Senator Peeler's trying to push, and I support that conversation. District 11 Senator Josh Campbell says he stands behind Senator Harvey Peeler, who sponsored a bill that would change the way DHEC operates. While I do believe it's an important agency, it has several important functions that are all rolled up into one large agency, and, and those need to be separated out in terms of importance. Kimbrell says splitting DHEC apart, allowing them to focus on public health duties and passing environmental duties over to other agencies is an important step that needs to be taken. DHEC has grown uh, beyond any reasonable uh, structure. It's it's almost an uncontroll uncontrollable willity uh, beast. I'm not beating the folks up. At DHEC, I think a lot of those people are doing a great job trying to do the best they can with the circumstances they're handed. Kimbrell says the breakup has been a topic of discussion for a while, but he believes the pandemic brought it back to the forefront. The fault lines have been there for quite a long time. COVID-19 was just the earthquake that exposed those fault lines. Because of the virus and efforts to roll out the vaccine, Kimbrell says other important issues are being put on the back burner. It is such an all-consuming number one priority. Other things are, that are also critical services are being down. For example, health inspections and new construction. When folks are trying to get permitting for new sites or they're trying to get new buildings approved or retention ponds certified, those are all being held back because that agency is so overwhelmed with its response to COVID. You've got the same agency that's trying to respond to COVID-19, also permitting retention ponds for new construction. That makes no sense to me. Kimbrell says at this point there's no estimated timeline as to when the Senate would vote on the bill. He says it's still very much a work in progress, but he believes it's an important discussion to have and hopes the Senate will take it up. For now, uh, the cake is still being baked, so I wouldn't throw the cake out to the side of the oven. In Spartanburg, Scotty K, 7 News. Senator Kimbrell says the bill was pre-filed before this legislative session even started, and right now it's in the Medical Affairs Committee. He believes there will be hearings on it this year. We will keep you posted on those developments.